You lie like a Romulan dog. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. In the Washington Compost and the AP have issued retractions over the reporting of Trump phone call to Georgia election official. Now, basically, they said that uh, he had told them to find the fraud, and that's not what he said. See, they lied in order to affect the election. If I was Trump, he ought to sue the living tar out of him for defamation. This is damn criminal, and the First Amendment doesn't cover uh, something that's criminal like this. The Associated Press and the Washington Post and other news out outlets issued corrections to early reports that claimed former President Donald Trump had pressured Georgia election investigator to find fraud in an audit of mail-in ballots in the state's most populous counties. These reports are saying as evidence in the articles of impeachment by the U.S. House and second impeachment of Trump. Which means, not only can these news outlets be sued for defamation, I wish the hell you would sue uh, Nancy Pelosi and that bunch. I don't know if he can or not. As the AP admitted Monday, its article erroneously reported that Trump pressed the lead in Georgia elections investigator to find the fraud, it said it would make the investigator a national hero. National News Outlet acknowledged that the recording of the call made public two months later revealed that Trump did not say either and instead said that if the investigator looked into the Fulton County, the investigator would find things that are going to be unbelievable. Trump also told the investigator when the right answer comes out, you'll be praised. The Washington Compost, which is a lengthy correction to its uh, January 9th story, asserting that Trump pressured a judge elections investigator in a separate call legal experts say could amount to obstruction. Correction know that two months after the publication of this story, Georgia's Secretary of State released an audio recording of President Donald Trump's December phone call with state's top elections investigator. The recording revealed that the Post misquoted Trump's comments on the call. Big surprise there. Based on information provided by a source. In other words, they made it up. Trump did not tell the investigator to find the fraud or said it should be a national hero if she did so. Instead, Trump urged the investigator to scrutinize ballots in Fulton County, Georgia, asserting that she would find dishonesty there. He also told her that she had the most important job in the country right now if correction continued. Trump's December 23rd call to Francis Watson came as the Trump campaign was contesting election results of the 2020 presidential election in Georgia, which showed then President Trump narrowly trailing now President Joe Biden. I don't recognize Joe Biden as president. The call, which lasted six minutes, was released by Georgia Secretary of State's office last week, and the audio of the call was published in a separate Washington Post article, Washington Compost article, highlighting the details of the conversation. Well, there you have it. They lied, which is no surprise to me. I figured that all along. Uh, but that's what they do for a living. They lie. They lie again and again and again and again and again. I'm going to listen to the audio, so I'll shut this off. Okay, I listened to the uh, whole conversation. He didn't pressure or anything. And he did ask her to investigate, which he's entitled to do. So here we go. You know, I wouldn't use Washington Compost 
But, you know, it might be a good uh, liner for a cat box or something like that, but as far as news goes, I wouldn't touch it. They're like um, CNN. I won't even use CNN for science stories. Uh, AP is flirt. After this, the AP is flirting and getting thrown off my uh, usable list, too. I just might. This is fraud, folks. Election fraud right in front of your face. And, you know, it has to be called out and dealt with. It won't be because of who we have in the White House. Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, liberalism is a mental disorder.